Before starting this video, thanks a lot for 13,000 subscribers, guys. It really means a lot to me. It won't be possible without you guys. Keep supporting, keep loving, and let's begin this video. Hey everyone, this is Bear folks back again with another video. This video is all about Nvidia Shadow Play, a really amazing real time game clipper introduced by Nvidia. Shadow Play allows us to capture in game clips automatically without even recording the whole game. It also acts as a game recorder. So today we are going to dive in this amazing software and complete guide on how to use it. Without wasting up any further ado, let's get started. Alright, you can use Shadow Play by downloading NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This app is basically used to optimize the game with the settings that is recommended by your system. You can get it right from the link in the description below. Once downloaded the app, what you have to do is basically open up Experience. So here is the application right in front of you guys. Now, once you run the application for the first time, it will automatically detect and scan the games on your computer. Uh, if you can't find any, just click on these three dots and hit scan for games. Now, as you guys can see, there is a little green tick and minus sign, gray minus sign on the top left of your game. So what this means is the game is optimized and the game is not optimized. Suppose I want to play Rainbow Six Siege, alright? So as you guys can see this game is using the optimal settings. But if I want to play PUBG, what basically happens is it says that the game isn't optimized. What are the current settings that I'm using versus what are the settings that my PC can run. Now once you are here, what you have to do is download the latest drivers that are possible for your graphics card and then what you have to do is click on these settings and make sure that the in-game overlay is enabled or it shows ready. If your computer has the following uh, settings or the following requirements, you can basically get in-game overlay. For now, my computer is basically using this kind of rig, so I'm getting. I can I can actually use all the features uh, with this rig. So what you have to do basically is go over here, and what you have to do is click on this thing. Now this is called the in-game overlay. What you have to do is basically click on that, and it opens up this thing. Now once this interface pops up, what you have to do basically is go on your instant replay and if it is on, just turn it off and then click on this little gear option in the bottom right corner. Now once you are here, I'm going to be showing you guys point wise every single thing I'm going to be going through. So first one is connect. Basically you can connect all of your accounts that includes Facebook, Google and I don't know what this I means. This is GeForce, this is Twitch, this I don't know what it means, and the last one is YouTube. So basically you can connect all of your accounts from here. Next one is the HUD layout. Now basically what does that mean is it, it shows the, st the status indicator that the replays are recording, the game is recording or something. Then we have the performance which it shows in the top right of the screen. And we have the viewers and comments if you are streaming live in case you can turn it on. But for me I will just turn that thing off. Then we have the keyboard shortcuts, basically just make the shortcuts that you can remember. The main shortcuts is the general for open and close the in-game overlay. For me, all Z is pretty amazing key uh, which I can remember to open and close the uh, in-game overlay. Then we have something for capturing that, that captures the screenshot. Then we have something called game filter. I'll make a video on this pretty soon. So if you guys want it, just comment down below. And we have recording. I have pressed Alt Shift F10 to turn and turn off the recording. And we have broadcast live custom overlay and performance uh, that you can use it otherwise. Then we have recordings and basically this is where the temporary files and saved videos go. 
Now, once you are playing the game, the game will automatically capture every single time you do something and they will be stored as temporary files. When the game is over, you can actually click save to gallery and the main videos will save here and the temporary files will be automatically removed. Then we have broadcast live. Basically, you can broadcast live to your Facebook. Um, you can just set the quality, you can set the resolution and you can set the bitrate you want to do and then you can just simply go live. So yeah, that's how it is. The next thing, the important one is the highlights and make sure that the capture is turned on and you just, you know, make sure that your temporary files goes into somewhere that has space and you can actually allot disk space. This is something I really like because sometimes what happens is when we clip more and more games, we exceed the disk space. So here is how you can limit your disk space by just giving 20 gigabytes out of 520 GB and BME SSD that I own. So I will clip only 20 gigabytes of highlights and once the 20 gigabytes is reached, it starts removing the older unused highlights. So basically it is a smart system. Next ahead we have the photo mode and game filter. I'm not going to be going in this one right now. I'm going to be covering it in the next video. So make sure that you guys subscribe and hit the like button and turn on the notification bell because this is something that will turn your life. Next up is the audio where you have to keep your system sounds to 100 and the source of microphone. Make sure that you're using a correct source and then audio tracks. Make sure that you separate both tracks so when you take your clip while editing, you will get the game sound and your sound in two completely different tracks. And hey back. The last two settings are for notifications and privacy. So basically notification make sure that you turn this thing on and make sure everything is turned on i i believe that this thing does not interrupt any gameplay quality as far as my experience but if you guys face any trouble with that make sure that you come to my discord server and contact me as soon as possible i'm going to be giving you a perfect solution for it and the last one we have the privacy control and make sure that you turn it off because whenever you try to stream a game it will automatically record your desktop instead of recording your game so if you use anything in your discord or your switch screen it will be showed publicly so i recommend that stick to your game screen just turn it off in case you want to show your desktop uh you can turn it on at your wish so these are basically all the settings that you have to do and then we have the performance mode so you can see the performance monitoring what kind of performance is going right up on your pc you can see the gpu clock right now is 690 megahertz the temperature is 52 degree i guess it's a bit normal and basically that is how my gpu is optimizing so you can actually go for performance overlay by pressing alt r together that will decrease the usage of graphics and record your gameplay more accurately so you can actually set power maximum and temperature target that is really amazing using this application we're going to all these settings in some other videos because this video will get more lengthy according to all these settings. These settings will take a lot of time to explain and is something really different from the topic we are making today. So if you want videos on this guys, just comment down below for all your problems. Feel free, comment without any hesitation. I'm going to be making videos for you guys. So yep, now without wasting up any further ado, let's drop into a game and record some clips and show it to you guys. So guys that was all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if i had helped you consider liking and subscribing to the channel help supporting me i have to reach 15,000 subscribers before the june of this year i hope you guys can do it just hit the subscribe button for more videos like this also if you're new around here consider joining our discord server you can talk to me directly about your issues and i'm going to be answering you guys so we'll meet you guys in the next video too and stay tuned keep watching bye folks and peace out